The COVID-19 pandemic has, as of today, 29th of March 2020, has caused more than 34,000 deaths, more than 750,000 people has got it. The pandemic has also led shortage of many medical facilities, devices and services, including ICU beds, N95 masks and mechanical ventilators. The main cause of death from COVID-19 is acute respiratory distress syndromes, where lungs are not able to provide enough oxygen to the body. The treatment is to place this patient on a mechanical ventilator, a device that forces oxygen uh, into patient's lungs. Mechanical ventilator is important in the sense that without access to it, most of the patient who would need it would die. One of the most obvious way to avoid a shortage of ventilators is to reduce number of people catching the COVID-19. Creating a cheaper and faster way to manufacture mechanical ventilators will definitely help this situation and governments all around the world are requesting existing medical and engineering companies to build more of it. One such solution has been proposed by Professor Cristiano Galbiati from Princeton University, Department of Physics. He has led a team of scientists from USA, Canada, France and Italy, and they have built a prototype of one such machine. And manufacturing it would cost only a few hundred euros and would be easy to mass manufacture. In this video, I will discuss paper published by Professor Cristiano Galbiati and I have also provided link of the paper and other details in the description. Let's first understand how a mechanical ventilator works. A ventilator forces oxygen or air mix with oxygen into a patient's lung using a breathing tube. One end of the tube is inserted into windpipe of the patient and other end is attached to the ventilator. The process of placing the tube in the windpipe is called intubation. It can be placed into windpipe using nose or mouth and sometimes using a hole in the neck. Before blowing air into the patient, Ventilator passes the air through humidifier which adjusts air temperature to patient's body temperature. And used air tube with CO2 goes outside using a different pipe attached to the patient. Mechanical ventilators work by themselves and have a control which can be programmed by trained medical staff. It can be set to breathe a specific number of times per minute. Let's discuss the schematic diagram of the ventilator. Mechanical Ventilator Milano or MVM consists of a small number of components. It has a medical care flow meter in use for direct regulation of the maximum flow rate, a oxygen therapy humidifier, a non-vented non-invasive ventilation mask, two electrically controlled VDC actuated pneumatic valves, a pressure sensor, a control system directly connected to the pneumatic valves and the control sensor, and a backup VDC battery connected to the control system. The MVM is connected to a pressurized oxygen line. The oxygen flow is controlled by medical care flow meter which restricts the flow to a maximum value. In case of the need to administer a mix of oxygen and air, this can be an oxygen air mixing medical care flow meter as well. Medical care flow meter is connected with oxygen delivery pneumatic valve. The incoming oxygen flow is controlled by pneumatic valve. Uh, they have verified that an orifice with diameter of 6 mm is sufficient to guarantee that a proper respiratory 
minute volume is delivered to the patient. The incoming oxygen flow is humidified before reaching the patient by entering the oxygen therapy humidifier. When trap VT1 is filled with a vertical column of oil, which raises the minimum vent pressure to a value of approximately 30 millibar, the value of the minimum pressure can be easily adjusted by varying the oil level. The vent line connects directly to the atmosphere, guaranteeing that the pressure differential delivered to the patient does not exceed the preset minimum vent pressure. The incoming oxygen flow from the humidifier is delivered to the patient, outfitted with a non-vented uh, NIV mask. The NIV mask is connected to a breathing system, supporting the attachment of two plastic tubes of typical size of 22 mm connecting respectively to pneumatic valves and to a smaller plastic tube leading to pressure sensor. Expiration pneumatic valve controls the expiratory flow. A valve orifice with diameter of 6 mm is sufficient to guarantee the flow corresponding to the expiration of a proper respiratory minute volume. Vent trap is filled with a vertical column of oil which raises the minimum vent pressure to the value of 5 millibar. A portable digital spirometer can be connected to the vent line of a vent trap to monitor the peak and average expiratory flow rate. The control system consists of a main controller which can be Arduino based and a subcontroller which provide uh, optocoupled switches to the pneumatic valves. The control system performs supervision and actuation of the two valves based on the programmed respiratory cycle. The respiratory cycle is operated by actuating pneumatic valves P1 and P2. During the inspirative phase, PV2 is closed and PV1 is open. At the end of inspiratory cycle, the pressure reaches the design range of 20 millibar to 30 millibar. At the end of inspiratory cycle, PV1 is closed and PV2 is opened at the same time, allowing the discharge of the lungs pressure. The end expiratory pressure is set by the height of the olive oil column in the vent trap VT1.